Well, hello and welcome to Chamber Chatter. My name is Roy Madden, the Executive Director of the Henrietta Chamber of Commerce, and with us today is our Library Director, Joanne Hutt, and we really appreciate you taking your time today because I know you got a number of things you're working on uh, this week to get ready for some other activities, but Joanne, you know, we have a wonderful library here in Henrietta sitting right on Main Street. And of course, our famous Doughboy sits out front, welcoming everyone to Henrietta and also to the library. But Joanne, uh, we're interested in what our library has to offer. So if you don't mind sharing that with the public, we'd appreciate that very much. Well, we have uh, several things here. We have um, 10 public computers that are open to the public for an hour a day. We have um, people doing research. We have Ancestry.com. We have one computer that is set up strictly for Ancestry. Uh, we have the newspaper online um, on uh, microfilm from 1903. And Carolyn uh, Carline came in years ago and she went through all the newspapers. And she made us an index card on every op-ed. And so now daily we get requests, either people coming in or people emailing or calling from out of state asking for an obituary on someone. You know, one of the things uh, uh, over the chamber, I get tons of calls from people doing research. And uh, thankfully, I'm able to refer them to the library because you have such a great resource here. Yes. And it is indexed for people and a uh, great information source for family history. Yes, it is. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but the library is a true asset. You mentioned you had 10 computers here, too. Yes. And amongst all these beautiful books that we have. And um, so as a research tool, uh, the library is excellent for family research and, of course, for other research that you want to do. And I'd also like to mention on the ancestry part, in 1989, the Friends of the Library walked the Westlawn Cemetery and they wrote down every tombstone, the name, the birth, and death dates. And then they made us an index and a map. And so we can, lots of times the cemetery men will send them here and we can tell people the approximate location like within a, a block area of where their loved one is buried. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned Friends of the Library. Tell us more about the Friends of the Library. The Friends of the Library are a group that uh, support the library in every way they can. They have an ongoing book sale all through the year here at the library. Um, that are books that have been donated by people. And if people want to donate books to the library, we always tell them we use what we can here at the library. The rest will go into the Friends of the Library book sale to generate money to support the library. Um, this coming uh, week, December 3rd through December the 7th, we are going to have a book sale at the Civic Center for nine to four each day, and we hope that people will come, find yourself some good books to read through the winter months, and there's nice books for Christmas gifts, so we'd like for you to get us there. So it's not only an opportunity at the book sale uh, with the Friends of the Library are putting on, it's uh, not only to get a, some great books at a very fair price, yes. but also it supports the library and probably supports the summer reading programs and things like that that you have at the library. Yes, yes. We do have a summer reading program for the children. Uh, it runs um, for first through fifth graders. They can read all summer for prizes. And then uh, it lasts for six weeks during the summer, and then uh, every Monday we have a program at the Civic Center because there's a theme, a different theme each year that all the libraries in the state of Oklahoma use. And like this, uh, this summer it was Libraries Rock, and it was all to do with music. Mm -hmm. And we have people come in to do a program each Monday for six weeks for the kids. Well, that, that's, uh, that's really great, and I'm 
You know, it's one of the things we were talking to uh, our educators about recently, uh, and uh, the, uh, our public school offers uh, integrated history as an elective for, I believe, our eighth graders. And uh, what resources do we have here that uh, one can learn about Henrietta history? Uh, we have lots of articles um, in our uh, file cabinets, uh, all divided out on special individuals, on all the businesses um, that people can come in and look at and research. And then everything that was on in a paper that's on microfilm. Mm -hmm. And I understand the uh, Rodriguez's had written a book yes. uh, on, the, in, on Henrietta and the, the area. Yes. And you have a copy of that here? We do have a copy of that here. We have a copy of the uh, Oakland County History book. That's a huge resource That's right a there. big one right there. Yeah. There's lots of um, about families because mm -hmm. in that book families were invited to write stories about their yeah, I've see. done considerable reading uh, in, in both of those books, yeah. and um, but the uh, the county book is just full of information. Very and good. And I invite anyone that wants to know more about Ogie County and the families and other details to drop by the library and spend some time. Uh, uh, Nurturing your knowledge, if you yes. will, about Okmulgee County and the families that are here. Uh, so, I want to know one more thing about it. Now, what time does the book sale start? The book sale, is, it starts on Monday, uh, December 3rd, and ends on Friday the 7th, and it's from 9 to 5 each day okay. at the Civic Center. Okay. As we, uh, how many staff do you have, by the way? How many what? How many staff members do you have here? Uh, there's three of us, myself and then Kathy Crosby, she's my assistant, and Shirley Francis is the custodian. Well, I know it's a well-managed, beautiful, old library. Takes you back in time, actually, when you step back into the library here. And uh, Now, out in front of the library, uh, there's a time capsule. Yes, there is. And uh, I, I'm trying to remember the date where that's supposed to be opened, but it's not too far in the future. That's true. I'm not sure of the exact date. But, but uh, we're going to do a separate, uh, I know I did an article on that here a while back and yeah. everything. But we're proud of our library, but we're proud of you as, as our library director. Thank you. And uh, people take advantage of your public library. It's full of knowledge, by the way. So thank you very much, Joanne. Thank you. Would you have anything you'd want to add that maybe we have missed? Um, not that I can think of right offhand, but we do invite everyone. We have patrons that are local patrons, and we also have patrons from the surrounding areas. We want to be sure that the surrounding towns know that they can come in and, and check out books also. And uh, again, your, your hours of operation one more time. The hours of operation. Oh, we're here Monday through Friday from 10 to 6 and Saturdays from 10 to 1. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And oh, wait a minute, let me, before we get out of here, you have a website too. Yes, we do have a website that you can go to. And and that would be www.henrietalibrary? Uh, yes, henrietalibrary.org. Well, we thank you for watching Chamber Chatter today, and Joanne, we thank you very much for spending your time with us and sharing the information about our library. And remember, our library is located at 6th and Main Street uh, here in Henrietta.